Now for to have Sean come up here and talk about our goals for 2016. Thank you, sir. You want the mic? Yeah. Does everybody have a handout? If you don't want, raise your hand, somebody will get it to you. I think we have extra ones if you want to have. Yeah. Each one should have, we have uh, some extras here. Okay? Let me see if I can get my PowerPoint here. Everybody is making resolutions, okay? And um, about 75% of them break it in the very first two weeks, okay? Uh, we're going to talk about uh, goal setting when it, as it relates to real estate investing. How many of you are excited about 2016 and want to go and make some money? Yeah. Make some noise. All right. The timing is good. We still have many deals in Dayton. The market values are steadily improving for the last two years. And the trend is on the way up. So I have not done a deal yet. Time to look into it. So, going back to this, why do we need to set some goals? There are some main ingredients on the goals. One of the reasons is, it's impossible, it's difficult to hit a goal that you don't see. But it's impossible to hit a goal that you don't have. Get that? Yes. All right. A um, couple of ingredients on this one here. Why do we need to set the goals? Because the goals give you a reason to get up in the morning and go. So those goals have to really excite you, okay? It can be monetary, and we're gonna talk about it a little bit more because we, the goals could be in different areas of your life. And you've got to establish a target to shoot at. And we're going to go to some of the ingredients that are necessary for setting the right goal, okay? And goals also give you positive mental attitude. That's what is needed. Because guess what? You get challenges on a daily basis. You cannot have the challenges depress you, go back to do nothing. Okay? And it's not easy. It's difficult, but it's not easy. You just need to stay after it. So let's move forward here, and they give you a direction. Um, I know. Uh, there was a study done by the Harvard graduates, and uh, only 3% of the people had written goals. But the good news is, 85% of them hit their goals, of the ones that are written down. Okay, the goals have to be written down, so let me go ahead and get some specifics for you. <coughs> Okay. Keep moving and we'll talk about it. Now we'll have a little uh, five minute uh, video clip that I uh, want to show it to you. How many of you know Zig Ziglar? He was my hero, he was my mentor. I met him at least three times. And he inspired me more than anybody else. And one of the things he says, you get what you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want. And I, I read that every day. Okay. Uh, goals also give you the confidence that you're gonna get it because the goals have to be exciting. Let's talk about how we're gonna do that. What are the ingredients of goals? Number one, it has to be challenging, okay? 